Hello everybody and welcome back to day eight or episode eight of the Pot Noodle Challenge on the What's Jamie Up To channel. Thank you to all the new subscribers and to the people who have viewed the previous seven episodes. Um, sorry there's been a gap, I just couldn't face another pot noodle. You know when you've had too much of a good thing, you go off it for a bit. So here we are, episode eight. It is the turn of the notorious Bombay bad boy. I like the little tuk-tuk uh, with the chili doing a wheelie. Turn bad boy in four minutes. There's no sauce scale on here like there is on the Donna Kebab one. Um, it's pretty nondescript compared to some of the other packaging. This one is vegetarian, not vegan. I've had a quick look at the ingredients, can't see why it's vegan to be fair. The only thing it says here is a disclaimer saying make a tame milk egg. Um, <clears throat> right, let's get into it. So what is the sauce that you get in here? Hot sauce. Okay, so that is the same as, I forget now, is it the Donna Kebab one? Let's give it a smell. Oh yeah, you can smell. It smells kind of like the curry one, but you can smell, you can smell the spice. You can smell a, a little whiff of chili in there, I think. Okay, the kettle's boiled. Oh, you've got a bit of sweet corn, freeze-dried sweet corn and peas in this one. Can't see any peppers or tomatoes in this. So, the kettle's boiled. Let's fill her up to the fill line. I'm actually even dreading this one. I don't know why. I just thought maybe it would be too spicy. Uh, maybe not. Maybe I'm just being a wimp. Okay, stir the top. After two minutes... You know the drill. We'll add the hot sauce, all of it. And then after four minutes, we're gonna turn bad boy. Okay, four minutes has surpassed. Let's get into this Bombay bad boy. Okay. Look, I'll give it a stir. I've added the sachet, I've given it a stir. Let's give it another stir. It looks very similar to the normal curry one, you know, the yellow pot one. Let's give it a smell. You can definitely smell the chili in here. You can tell it's spicier. I've never ever had one of these. Let's give it a go. All the peas, where are all the peas and everything gone? They must have sunk to the bottom. Okay, let's give it a go. The noodles look quite a lot thicker in this one actually. Just like the curry one, not really getting much, much heat. I suppose I should wait a sec. Let's try some more. Do you know what? That's quite nice actually. I was really dreading this. Just by the black packaging, you'd assume it to be like red, like really hot. Like really spicy um, and the name of it Bombay bad boy you'd think Christ it's gonna be really hot but no it's actually really pleasant yeah I, I would really rate this highly I'm probably gonna say a 10 because it's right up there with the curry one I definitely have this one again um, I may not say that it depends how my stomach feels about it later um, but yeah I'm going to eat all this um, and then I'll come back to you and let you know if my mouth's on fire or not. Freshly finished. Really enjoyed that actually. It's got a little bit of a kick to it, nothing major. You know, don't know what I was scared of to be fair. Definitely have that again. Yeah. Some of the little touches on the packaging are quite funny actually. A little sachet of hot fire chilli sauce. And there was something about storing it in the cupboard. Store in a cool, dry place, but don't let dust gather. Yeah, right. That is this episode concluded. We have one more episode in the pot noodle challenge to go. I'm really not looking forward to this one because I just don't think it's going to be very nice. But 
you know, I'm waiting to be surprised. So, tune in for the next episode, or the last episode of the Pot Noodle Challenge, unless I can get hold of the pulled pork or the chicken korma flavours, which are, I think they've stopped making them. But I'll have a look, I might find one on eBay, or somewhere on Amazon, who knows. Okay, and after I've done this one, I might, someone suggested I do a Baldac noodle challenge, but to be fair, I do not like the Baldac noodles at all. My youngest daughter, she bought a big box full of them, and they were the most random flavours they had. I think she had ham and cheese noodles, um, and carbonara flavour noodles, and like uh, really spicy ones because she was into K-pop at the time. So she was buying all these random noodles and they were disgusting. So I think I'm gonna do a sober noodle challenge, but you'll have to find out. So please subscribe to this channel if you like watching a middle-aged man's random shenanigans. And the next time you find yourself with nothing to do, why don't you just have a look on YouTube and see what's Jamie up to?